All right, so we just got up here. It's September 3rd and my dad and I um, just drove up here to the unit where I'm gonna be hunting and we brought the side-by-side -side with us. So that'll make it really nice to jet around on some of these roads. We'll be able to move really fast and stop in glass. And uh, yeah, season starts tomorrow. So tonight we're just gonna drive around and um, take a look at all these hillsides and see if we can glass some up and then maybe put the stock on tomorrow. So very optimistic, so stay tuned. Apparently this fox is just tame. It's gonna walk right up to me. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> hey buddy. Hey bud. I don't have any food, do you? You just ate a sandwich. Yeah, I know, I got I ate all my food. He this is insane. He's like a pet. I've seen dogs more scared than him. I think my dog's more scared than him. <laughs> hey, buddy. And he's pretty. Come up here tomorrow. We'll have to bring some food. He's a good looking. That's a good looking fox. He's so cool. So I guess we have a couple new friends today. It looks like there's another fox up here. Just tame as can be. Maybe this one's a little more skittish, I'm not sure. Still, we're only, my dad's only 30 feet from him. Never seen anything like this. People must feed these. He just decided to make a little bed and lay down. He's digging, digging a little spot out. Pretty stinking neat. All right, it's September 4th. I think it's like, a little bit after or it's probably close to nine by now but we're just driving this road and um, just been stopping and glassing every so often and finally just spotted one and it's a it's just a single goat it's pretty far away right now but we're getting the spotter set up and gonna see what it looks like so um, it looks like it's in a good spot if if uh, it is a billy it's rough but um, it looks like I could probably go in after it. So I'm gonna get the camera tripod set up and I'll try to show you guys where it's at. Long ways away. And rough. Looks like a billy though. Yeah, he does, for sure. Well, I think we're gonna go after this one. Well, we just glassed one up. We're at the first spot that we stopped, and of course this one's all the way at the top, but it looks like a spot we can maybe get to. Um, we'll have to go way around to get to it, but it might be worthwhile. It looks like it might be a billy. All we can see is one up there, so there's a good chance it's a billy. Well, we just made it to the top of this point right here, and we think we figured out exactly where this spot's at. It looks pretty rough from this side too, but I think we can make a play on him. It's just a matter of whether he's in a good enough spot to shoot or not. We're not really sure. He's got to be we're going to follow this ridge right here. Go out across there. And then I think he's off that point. Right in there. Should be as long as he didn't move too much. that I thought that goat would be on. And he's not on it, but 
I got to looking around and it looks like he dropped a long ways down and is in the timber now. And I got a good view of him right here. So it's about seven o'clock now and um, we just finally relocated that goat that we were on that we saw this morning and then we stalked and we uh, we couldn't find him but now we're back here glassing again and we just relocated him. He's a long ways off but he's not too far off from where we were earlier today. So we're gonna watch him till dark and then hopefully have a shot at him in the morning. So we got up ahead of those goats that um, I was just showing you guys and they went around a little point and we can't quite see them but we're gonna hike up to the top of this point up here and see if we can look down and see them and then my buddy Josue is going way out around and gonna watch from a distance and uh, yeah see, see where they're at in relation to us and he's gonna give us some hand signals so hopefully this will all work out. Hopefully they'll be in a good spot when pop over this, this hip, this uh, rock up and down.
There it goes, good shot. Dad, where is he? Let me get a picture. Oh, oh, he's dead. Boom, baby! Hold him up, James. He sure didn't go very far, did he? No, he didn't. Blood everywhere. Here, James. <laughs> Hold him up. <laughs> Found a billy you got. He had to double long him. Out. He didn't go very far. All right, so here it is. My billy for 2018. I set out this year to, I wanted to get a billy and I wanted something with good hair. And, it looks like this meets both those qualifications, so I'm super stoked. Put a really good shot on him. Um, yeah, he only went, what, 50 yards? Yeah, because I had like a 20 yard shot, and he probably only went 50 or 60 yards. So it was a really merciful, ethical kill. So that's, I'm happy about that. He really buckled when he hit him, didn't he? I'd like to shout out my dad. He's 62 years old, and um, you guys know how far we've hiked. We've hiked we hiked 15 miles yesterday, and I don't know how many miles today. Not not as many, of course, but um, yeah, he's 62 years old, and he gets around these mountains great. And I'd like to thank my friend Josue for coming out here and helping me out. Um, he could be hunting right now, but instead he's helping me goat hunt. So that's pretty freaking cool. But anyways, thanks for watching the hunt. Here's James skinning his goat. I'm sure glad I don't have to get my hands dirty. You're going to, man. I'm not. I've already did my own. So. Beautiful day up here today. Really warm for this time of year. Yeah. Trying to talk me into helping him, but that ain't happening. You're doing a good job, James. Keep up the good work. That's fine. Uh -huh. We we you got a lake right here to clean yourself up with. It's really pretty, like real clear, deep looking water. Real warm day up here today. 